Adam Savage here in my cave for Tested.com with a new one day build that involves my new best friend here, Spot. See, when we knew we were going to be developing for Spot, we knew we'd get him here, it was clear that the first video would be an unboxing, a, 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 an exploration of his skill set. And I was also pretty clear that the second video would also be an exploration of his current skill set before we started to add skills and ideas to him. But what would that second video be? Like, I wanted him to do something service oriented. And I thought about riding him. That's the natural first thing, but he doesn't have the payload for me. And then it hit me a rickshaw. I know that might not be the obvious leap for a person to make, but I happen to be already obsessed with rickshaws. I've had a folder of rickshaw photos on my creative projects file for the better part of a decade. So this is the first one day build involving Spot, and that is a rickshaw so he can take me on a walk around the park. First thing I did was bought a wheelchair for about 50 bucks on Craigslist, added a couple of leaf springs to it, bolted two long carrying handles to it, and now I had a working structure. So the next step was to put some cardboard behind my rickshaw and figure out what shape it wanted to be. I had no preconceived notion of what I wanted the rickshaw to look like, but once I had the cardboard behind it and started to draw in pencil, a shape started to take form. With the chassis problem solved, it was time to move on to the seat and the footrest. So you have to be able to stand on this footrest to get into the thing. So it's a non-trivial engineering challenge. I used some super high quality three quarter inch thick plywood for this structural part because I wanted it to be bulletproof. With the seat fleshed out so that I could sit in it, it was time to take the form I'd drawn on the cardboard and transfer it to wood. I saw the curves and I was pretty happy with how they looked. While the end result of this rickshaw is going to look quite organic and very shapely, you can see here that the structure is just two flat sides uh, that I am going to be fleshing out with some edge detailing. It's pretty straightforward in terms of the structural build. Once I had the roof on, it really started to take form. I started adding edge details and filigree molding, uh, little details everywhere that signified that this was a piece of Victorian hardware. I added fenders and gave them edge stripping from some old auto piping I had in storage. Then it was time to paint it black. I didn't expect that I was gonna paint it black, but the moment the form was in front of me, it was totally clear that's the color it needed to be. With the paint job finished and almost all of the details in place, it was time to tackle the thing I was looking forward to most, and that's the upholstery of the chair. This is my fabric. Back when I thought this whole thing was gonna be a different color, this was awesome. It's even better now that it's all gloss black. Yeah, it's just the right kind of weird, luxurious texture. Oh, this is not upholstery grade fabric, but that's okay. I, I'm not that worried. Only a few dozen people are gonna sit in this thing. I, I think it's gonna survive. All right, here we go. Yeah, that's what I wanted.
Oh, that's quite nice. Yes, I appreciate that. That's exactly what I want it to be. Hey, that wasn't that bad. That wasn't that bad. It wasn't great, but it wasn't that bad. Terrific. Yeah, that's not bad. I can pull that one also. Yeah. Oh, good, good. Sinking up to its, yeah. Perfect. Do that. Whoops. All right. I didn't leave myself enough room here. Let's see if I uh, can find enough room. You're wondering where I learned my terrible upholstery skills. <laughs> There's only one word and it explains everything. Theater. <laughs> you've never really seen creative upholstery until you've taken apart a piece of theater furniture. Yeah, it's not real upholstery, it's like fake upholstery. Look at that, that is great. That's gonna go in like that. Yeah, yeah, all right. Now, it's time to do the rest.
we're just going to try this. I'm not sure if it's going to work, but we will see. All right. Oh, I'm aware it's not pretty, but what it is, it's almost done. Here we go. The finishing piece. Oh. Ah, let's see. There we go. Oh. We're going to get in. Here we go. Oh, oh. I think we're ready. I could not be happier with how this rickshaw came out. First of all, its shape and its form were a complete surprise. I went home every single night and oogled photos of the rickshaw just because I was so obsessed with how cool it was looking. And in execution, it was way more comfortable to ride in than I thought it would be. And it was also way easier to pull than I thought it would be. Uh, and I'll give a caveat there. It was easy to pull on the flat. Once I was pulling Norm uphill, that was very, very tiring. And to be honest, I'm pretty impressed that Spot was able to do it. 